So we yeah, am at the VR Expo in Stuttgart. Um, if you don't know Stuttgart, Germany, it's a place where many car manufacturers, car manufacturers are located. Um, for example, Daimler, or uh, basically all big German car companies. And of course, one of the main topics is the B2B market and the industry and what AR, VR, XR, whatever, call it what you want, can uh, improve in that area. For example, said one of the Unity employees in his speech that it now would be possible to direct implement CAD models, CAD models, into Unity as a 3D model and it make a really big impact in the industry to use these CAD models for the VR development. So these were cool news, but most of the company was talking about, yeah, we use virtual reality technology as a technology for virtual meetings and virtual meeting rooms. And I was like, isn't that something Facebook Spaces is doing? So why do they spend all their time, money, effort on something a really big player is already doing? I don't know, but probably I have an idea. Because some years ago, when the industry wasn't that developed as it is now, everyone was missing the perfect hardware to um, develop or to show to use virtual reality. Then there were the Oculus thing and now everyone is missing the software. And probably the problem still is the same. And then some days later this happened. Still no device, still no price, still no light field technology, still no... I feel like it was a total waste of time. Check it out, y'all. Cause I'm in with the chips down Flip on the swag with my hips down Everybody wanna pimp the name out Popcorn in the morning Still the best Way to start your day right, right? Start your day right, right? Sorry guys mm. There's a problem with popcorn You can't speak, you can't breathe And you always have the feeling that there's something inside your throat But anyway I was thinking about the Twitch stream yesterday from Magic Leap and what to think about it and combined it, combined it in my head um, to think about the problems, what the problem what I have with the Magic Leap and the problem what the society or the press has with Magic Leap and to think about is the problem of the cross-reality term or the cross-reality technology the same like it is in Magic Leap? And I think it is, because I think the problem of both Magic Leap and cross-reality is <laughs> there isn't a working cross-reality device. <laughs> Sounds like a bad joke, but listen. What they showed yesterday was a device, but not a working device. Um, so there is still no proof the light field technology which makes the Magic Leap so um, valuable or so uh, impactful hasn't been shown yet. And maybe it's just a theory and maybe it, is, it doesn't work. And maybe the device is, isn't working as well because the guy said it on his face but uh, just maybe it was just a model of, I don't know, anything. And then they showed the demo and the demo was like, Phew. The quality was, I don't know, there was a demo um, some weeks or some months before, some months before, where they showed some Star Wars stuff uh, for the Magic Leap, and that was cool. But there was also a way better quality, and there were so many things didn't work in the demo. Um, so I read the international press uh, regarding this topic, and they all were like, oh, these guys are fooling around, what is wrong with them? If we think of the cross-reality term or the cross-reality technology, um, 
let's make this clear first. Uh, we have the augmented reality, we have the mixed reality, we have the virtual reality, and in the virtual reality there is a 360 degree display or display like a ball around you to um, show the environment inside um, the screen. And in the mixed reality, your environment, I mean your real environment, gets scanned by the device and on the real models like a table, uh, a couch or whatever, you can place um, 3D digital models and can um, squeeze them in, squeeze them out or do something with them. Same as in augmented reality. And if you think of the future and of virtual reality applications or experiences, you don't need these sensors around uh, because the sensors are inside your device and then your device recognizes, oh there's a table so I make a cut here so here's a wall you can't walk here or there is a real wall so we make a wall digitally or virtually and if we think about that and transfer it to now we would describe it as a mixed reality but it is fully immersed so it will be a virtual reality and this is so confusing and as you can see, the borders in the future will disappear between these technologies and it's not that necessary to make a cut between the augmented virtual whatever reality, just call it cross-reality. And to do that, you need a cross-reality device, you need a technology which can do both, which can show that and the light field technology could be the solution for that. But we still don't know if the light field technology is working, which is bad and which is sad so we can now talk a lot about it. we can yell at them we can argue discuss everything but i'm pretty sure no one around us has the possibilities or the skills to build a technology like this or build a device like that and i'm pretty sure the magic League guys are pretty cool guys who will present us a very very good device in the near future so making a cut here i think the most important thing is not to find a good term or to build a good device. I think the most important thing is to accept the technology in our society. And we all can make an impact or we all can uh, give an example for that. I mean, giving our best to build a society like this because we can enhance our whole life with it. And of course, there are a lot of dangerous risks inside of cross reality or artificial intelligence but also a lot of advantages. For example, if we look into school and we, we are located in Russia and we want to travel to South America, it's very expensive, but we can use the cross-reality technology to travel there with the whole class and visit, I don't know, the Amazonas or something like that. And then we can grab a unique plant, take it into our biology classes, slice and squeeze it, everything like that, go to the atoms and then calculate the atoms um, in the next course and then put it back and travel around again. So there are a lot of possibilities, especially in the education area, which are very underrated now. And um, I think we need to accept it first in our society and then we can make all the big impact with these technologies. So nice words at the end. Um, I would love to end this video with that. So thanks if you watch until now. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet to become a lot of more insights or knowledge of cross reality and artificial intelligence. And also, I would love to see your beautiful face on our Patreon or inside our Patreon in our inner circle and to become a team member. And we will see us again next week, I think. Next week. So, love to see you there. Bye bye. Tschüss.